Hello, it is Jessica Weaver, and here I am. I don't even know what day I'm on for Not Your Money Miracles. But an eight-week journey where I say a prayer every morning, among other things that I do throughout the day. And really just setting my daily money practice. Money should be a practice. It's not like we can't just fix our money. That is such a load of BS. I'm calling BS on that right now. Fixing our money. I just had this conversation with my own coach. And when we say we need to fix it, we're putting so much damn pressure on ourselves. Think about it. Like, we need to fix this $80,000 credit card debt. We need to fix being able to retire in a year. We need to fix sending our kids to college where we have no savings, right? We need to fix it. And we're trying to do the impossible. It's not up to us to fix it. It's not up to me to fix your money. I help and I guide you and I connect you, but really who's gonna fix it all? <laughs> God's the only person that can fix for us. So removing that pressure of having to fix it, because when you think it's, it just keeps loading on. I'm the same way. I think I need to fix everyone's money problems. Really, I'm just here to serve you and to guide you and to help you and support you, okay? I can't make you do anything. I can't control any aspect of it, but I can educate you. I can give you the tools, give you the resources, the knowledge, the support you need to get you on your way. It's a practice. It's not a problem. Your money is not a problem. Your money is a practice. But when we think we need to fix it, well, then that layer is on, well, I'm only going to love my money under this condition when it gets fixed. Like, I'm only going to love my spouse if my marriage gets fixed. I'm only going to be able to do these things, my business, once it gets fixed. We're putting a condition on our money, and our money does not like that. Swat it away. Swat that thing away. <laughs> but then, so we have the fix. We have to fix it. We're placing a condition on it. That adds on a ton of pressure ton of pressure that we don't need that type of pressure we already have enough pressure in our lives and then we're so attached to this certain outcome in our mind I will only love my life if this happens I will only love my my job if I make a hundred thousand dollars I will only love my money if I have a million dollars saved up or ten million dollars saved up a place it's so conditional it's conditional love and imagine if you were in a relationship under that type of conditional love you would feel like you're in a pressure cooker and that's what your money feels like right now. It feels like it's in a pressure cooker. Crazy. And we are going through all of this during our Money Empire Day on Friday. I'm so excited for it. I am basically giving you everything that I have learned over the last really three, four months that has allowed me to double my income consistently each month. On top of my 10, 11 years of experience in the finance industry, but really honing in on these daily money practices that aren't trying to fix your money, but try to embrace your money, accept it, and receive more of it, okay? So let's say a prayer before I get carried away here, all right? <sighs> Divine beloved, allow me to give with complete ease and abundance, you are knowing you are the unlimited source of all. Let me be an easy, open conduit for your prosperity. Let me trust all my own needs are always met in amazing ways and that it is safe to give freely as my heart guides. And equally, let me feel wildly open to receiving. May I know my own value, beauty, and worthiness without question. Let me allow others a supreme pleasure of giving to me. May I feel worthy to receive in every possible way. Change me into one who can fully love, forgive, and accept myself. So I may carry your light without restriction. Let everything that needs to go, go. Let everything that needs to come, come. I'm utterly your own. You are me. I am you. We are one. All is well. So when you think about being so attached to a certain outcome, right? I'm manifesting it. I'm writing it down. I'm visualizing it. That the $100,000 is right there. Being debt free is right there. I can taste it. I can feel it. We're becoming so attached to it. And that is conditional love. And like I said before, that's a money block, right? We, we can't have, we can't place conditions on our money. We can't place conditions on love, our self-love, right? I'm only going to love myself if I lose 10 pounds. I'm only going to love myself once I'm debt-free. It's not treating ourselves well. It's not. And it's putting so much pressure on you and your inner child. Like, I can't handle it anymore. 
Like I said, we're in a pressure cooker. So stop trying to feel the need to fix it. Release that. It's a practice. Our money doesn't need to be fixed, it's a practice. And by doing these daily practices, it allows us to realize how much pressure we're putting on ourselves, on our money, how much attachment we're putting onto it, conditions onto our lives. It's sad. It's sad. How do we release that and detach? And this prayer is what helps us, among other things. So if you're curious, we have our Money Empire Day on Friday, full day event. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be powerful. If you're curious at all, I'll put the link in below. But really, we are going to be focusing on these daily money practices, plus the long game, the long-term game of not just receiving more money, growing the money, optimizing that money, and making the most of it, whether it's to retire, switch careers, just to have wealth and income that's not tied to your paycheck anymore. Isn't that refreshing? Talk about getting rid of pressure and burdens, okay? So I welcome you, God bless you, and I hope this helps you.